Okay guys, this is old school submission in Sambo. And uh, I teach it, but I'm not a huge fan myself. Uh, I wish I was a little bit nerdier, so I knew dinosaurs. Remember that little dinosaur in the original Jurassic Park? You know, with like little shoot coming out? Okay, so the motion implies this kind of action of my opponent's song. All right, so if you remember the name of the dinosaur, you can name that move that way. Conventionally, the way I was taught, would you go on your back please, Dennis? The way I was taught uh, how to apply the submission is from a scarf hold when his arms are not dangling. Because right, if I go scarf hold and his arm is not doing anything, I'm gonna dig his bitch, right? Either arm triangle, uh, straight arm bar this way, bend, bend, arm lock this way, etc., etc. Sometimes, yes, his arm locked in, so there is no access to open it up. You can uh, put your hands together. There we go. So the submission is like this. Watch, I'm gonna rock him up a little bit, and I'm gonna pinch this wrist here, like this. And uh, I need this arm to be in a 90 degree angle because what I'm about to do is similar to Kimura. So you need straight arm, uh, you need bent arm for uh, bent arm box, right? And I'm gonna sneak my hand here, nice and deep, right there, like a heel full grip. And I'm gonna put my hands together just like this. And here's my shoot, or rather his shoot, right? He's a uh, he's, uh, little dragon opening, right? Uh, elbow to his temple, right there, that's the submission. The only thing, uh, it's a legit submission as far as it hurts, but it's hard to get on anybody's decent. So sometimes, uh, if I was on the bottom and as soon as I feel somebody locks in like this, what you want to do, you punch your arm straight, straight, punch it straight. Yes, that's all, right? Uh, I need like a lot of effort to maintain this here. Uh, it's possible, but like I said, it's, it's not a very used submission. It's legit, but uh, I'll leave it up to you. Maybe you'll make a living out of it. So anyway, uh, I, I came across this submission from completely different position. And it started with a half guard. Remember guys, in a half guard, both Dennis and I, we both hunt for underhooks for, uh, for opposite reasons. I want to smash, he wants to create space. So as we start to go for underhooks, he kind of beat me a little bit to it. Yeah, yes, that, he was, his hand was right here. And I got him this way. Okay, so uh, let's call it vegan underhook, right? Because it's, it's not a proper underhook. Uh, Scotty, would you spin to my right, please, this way? That's, I, I just want you to see the position, all right, guys? It was all born on battlefield. That's the position we ended up. And I was able to shoulder pressure, smash him, and I was able to get my, keep that here. I was able to keep my hands together, right? Then I went to tripod, and I passed, and I ended up in the mount. And I'm like, this, like, this looks familiar, you know, the arm position, what do I do? And then I windshield wipe my leg, set out to scarf hold, and the beautiful thing, I did not have to hunt for this arm, number one. And number two, the angle was so acute, he could not punch it through, because I'm pinching it here. And then I'm doing this dinosaur thing again, right? Rock him up, elbow towards his temple. Rock and squeeze. Shoulder lock. All right, guys? So uh, what I'm saying is, uh, over and above, that is a little technique, is uh, once you kind of know uh, the principles, which arms, which way your arms and legs bend and do not bend, sometimes you can invent a submission, uh, just rolling and wrestling around, and uh, that's what happened yesterday, and uh, I wanted to share with you. Hope you like it as much as I do.